What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap. Today we'll go on a test drive with FSD version 12.5.4.1 on my legacy Model S. All right guys, so I just got back from a trip and FSD 12.5.4.1 was waiting for me. As we can see here, this is with software update uh, 2024.32.10. And so it's just really just a point update. Um, we already had the live one powered by Slack radio in the last update. And we also had 12.5.4, um, a couple of videos back, you'll be able to see um, how that went for me and my first impressions. So let's see how 12.5.4.1 uh, performs. It is just a point update, but um, we're hearing a lot of different experiences online and it was a pretty big download it seemed like. Uh, so maybe we'll see a little bit of a difference. The other thing too is we didn't actually do my test route um, with the, the last version. I just gave you my initial impressions and drove around. So let's see how um, version 12.5 is working on a legacy Model S. This is a 2017 Tesla Model S with MCU2 and of course the camera upgrades that are required for FSD to run. So let's check it out. All right, FSD is engaged. See how we do with this gate. Always asking us to make sure that we're, uh, you know, got our hands on the wheel here at the beginning of the drive. A little bit of an odd jerk there. And I've noticed version 12.5 as compared to 12.3.6 uh, is a little bit skittish when it comes to the gate. Um, it has a little bit slightly jerkier behavior uh, than we used to see, but not a, not a real big deal. Okay. Uh, the sun is going down, by the way, so visibility is a little bit rougher. Um, we might get some of that, you know, FSD performance is degraded because it's blinded. Hopefully not, but it is possible. Turn the temperature down a little bit here. And I'm going to try to keep the camera from moving around as much. I'm just using a you know, very basic uh, suction cup mount to hold the camera. Anyway, so far so good. It was a good timing uh, to take that right turn onto the road here. And this again is a mix of both city streets as we are on right now, and also a little bit of highway that's coming up. So good, yeah, we're positioning here into the appropriate lane to get on the highway. We can actually take either the lane that we're in or there's going to be a new left turn lane that's going to be coming up, uh, which would be my preference, but um, FSD se seems to tend to prefer um, to stay in the outer lane, but it also depends on the amount of traffic. So here we go, getting into the lane that I would like to be in. I don't know if that's just because of uh, the lighter traffic in that lane, but either way, um, it was a good thing. So proper signaling. Speed control feels very good. Okay, got lucky here. Still a green light. And... Great. So now we're just going to be uh, continuing forward in this lane. There's going to be um, a lane merging into ours, and then we're going to be uh, merging onto the highway, getting on the on-ramp. I gotta say, guys, though, I really am quite happy with the, um, the latest FSD versions. Uh, they've been performing quite well. Every now and then, make some decisions that I wouldn't, or some app data can trip it up, but uh, generally the experience is uh, very, very good. And that's Baron, my friend, actually. He's got a Model Y, and uh, he got that free trial that's going out right now with FSD 12.3.6. Uh, it was the first version he got, and he's also got an offer for an update, uh, which is going to give him 12.5.4.1, uh, just like we're running. So that's really good. Uh, doesn't have end to end. Ooh, I'm going to have to hit the gas here. Yeah, we were just going a little bit too slow, and there's a large vehicle uh, behind us. So that is uh, one intervention there. Just uh, it probably would have been okay, but I didn't feel comfortable. And uh, oftentimes, FSD is just not aggressive enough in situations where it needs to be. And that was one of them. So no actual disengagement, but still one intervention, which is disappointing. Um, but again, this is the highway stack, um, and so that's not really the new code. 
uh, the new code is all is all the city street stuff. Although um, end to end on highway it should be coming to vehicles on uh, maybe 12.5.6.1, but that's not out just yet. So for now, uh, we're still running the old uh, the old highway stack, which is uh, not all neural nets. There's still a lot of C++ coding in there. Let's see, we got seven tenths of a mile and then we're gonna have to make a right turn. Huge amount of traffic here. And we're going a little bit slower than I'd like. Okay, good, now we're picking up again. But of course, at some point, we're gonna have to get into the um, one lane to the right in order to then a, be able to make our turn. And then I'll let FSD try. A lot of you have asked me for, uh, some of you have asked me uh, at times to put her in higher traffic situations. Well, I think this qualifies. So, okay, FSD wanting to change lanes. Let's see if FSD is able to find a good opportunity. Got three tenths of a mile. Did have an opportunity pop up here, which is good. All right, good job. Uh, you might have seen a person on the display. There really was a person there. I don't know if you saw him on camera. That guy hanging out under the uh, the overpass over there. Okay. Our exit's coming up here. We still see the, you know, indicators of what FSD is thinking and said uh, choosing the right fork to stay on route, which we did. And now we're going to have to get all the way over uh, in order to take a right turn at the light coming up a little ways. These newer versions of FSD, beginning with version 12, are a lot better um, at this uh, merging at higher speeds. The, uh, the old FSD was really, really way too skittish. Uh, kind of like how the highway is too skittish. Um, FSD is a lot a lot better at that um, with the uh, versions 12 and so I'm looking forward to seeing version 12 on the highway. It does look like um, it's not really single stack though. It looks like, uh, I mean it kind of is but kind of not. So it does seem like uh, the operation even with 12.5.6 is different on the highway um, than when you're on city street. Some of the parameters are, I don't really know um, what the difference is but the UI is certainly different and um, also the, uh, the speed profiles are different as well. So it turns out that those, you know, aggressive and chill and all that stuff, um, the new ones anyway on 12.5.6, don't apply to city streets. Uh, that's really just on the highway. They've got, I think, chill and um, average or standard, and then hurry is the new aggressive, where it'll make a lot of lane changes, hang out in more of the left-hand lanes of the highway and all that stuff. So I look forward to testing all that for you. We also should be getting um, new versions that are able to reverse um, and then get out of parking spots and stuff. And this quarter, uh, we're supposed to get uh, actually Smart Summon on legacy vehicles. So I'm really, really looking forward to testing that out. Uh, should be really, really cool. All right, here we go. This guy made his turn. All right, cool. So far, so good. Very smooth. Hey guys, aside from that little intervention on the old stack, uh, really smooth sailing so far. There we go, getting into the correct lane, I think. Got a left turn coming up in half a mile. Okay, accurate read on this trailer over here. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think there used to be some worry with uh, really old FSD versions about whether or not it really detects the trailer or not, uh, but it did. Got a Porsche Taycan here on my left uh, that just passed by. It's their electric car. It's a very good looking car. I'm not sure how well they're selling or how well the value keeps up or um, how satisfied people are with them, but I think they're very good looking and uh, very quick cars as well. Not that uh, the Model S is a slouch either, though. Now, I don't have a plaid, this is just a, and, and also it's not even a dual motor, this is a rear wheel drive, 75 kilowatt hour, uh, sort of more of a driver's oriented car, you might say, uh, with uh, coil suspension rather than air suspension from back in 2017. Great car. Um, probably my only real complaints are uh, some rattles and also that um, 
the sound system could be, it's good, but I, w I wish I'd gotten the upgraded one uh, rather than uh, the bass audio, like him in this vehicle. But, <laughs> you know, let's not forget, this is a car that was made in the summer of 2017, uh, and yet it's doing what it's doing right now, which is absolutely, absolutely bonkers and amazing, and continues to improve all the time. I mean, we just got the new update today, so, yeah, wow. All right, this is appropriate. You can see there's two left turn lanes, and we're in the right-hand one, which is correct, uh, because we're going to have to take a right turn and not too long afterwards. So far, so good. Everything uh, going swimmingly here on city streets. It feels good to be happy about FSD again, because yeah, there was a, a time there, um, really between, I think, 11.4 or so, where I, I started getting a little bit more um, disillusioned with FSD in the sense that I just didn't see a whole lot of rapid progress. And even with these initial iterations of version 12, it also seemed like, you know, the, the rhetoric, um, the things they were saying about how quickly it was going to progress and all these new features and stuff, um, we weren't actually seeing that being delivered to the fleet, the wider fleet. Um, we see a lot of these updates go out to some of those, you know, uh, high profile sort of original testers, uh, but not as much going out to the wider fleet. But what we're getting uh, these days, very happy with these versions that are that are coming out, uh, coming out wide. This version 12.5.4.1 uh, looks to, to be a really like a, a quite a wide release. Okay, we're gonna have a turn coming up in four tenths of a mile. Uh, this one used to really trip up FSD, and I remember with version 12, at the first time it was able to make this turn. Um, it used to freak out because of construction cones and all this stuff. And um, so now, now it's, uh, it's just crushing it. Uh, we may have to get over one lane though. You can see that arrow up there. Uh, FSD is not properly staging itself. So I got my foot covering the brake here. Uh, very nice though, smoothly moved over. And luckily the, the guy uh, behind us now um, had properly anticipated that I was gonna run into this problem. And so here we go, and looks like we're gonna be able to take this right turn properly. Very, very good. Whoa, okay, a little bit of a jitter there as it tried to uh, readjust its path to avoid a cone, I guess, which you know, wouldn't hurt us, but anyway, I'm glad it avoided it. And here we go. Okay, we'll see how it performs. Um, one in the parking lot and then two, it's decided to route itself, rather than going in that entrance, which would have been a lot easier, it has decided to take this next one, uh, which is a really sharp turn. And when there are other vehicles there, uh, the old versions used to really freak out. I kind of wish we'd, we'd gotten an interaction there with the car uh, to see how it does. But uh, many times you've seen probably in my grocery runs that version 12 is really good at those now. And uh, it's really not an issue anymore uh, for the most part. Uh, also in 12.5.4, my issue where it was hugging the right-hand side of the lane uh, that we saw in 12.3 uh, is gone. So that's been really, really awesome. Uh, let's see. I told the nav to kind of go, yeah, basically, whoop, wrong lane. We got to get one lane over. Let's see if it does it. Uh, 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 nope. <laughs> okay, FSD kind of screwed that up. It didn't get us um, exactly where, where I wanted the pin to be. Uh, but yeah, no, it's freaking out and it's like, okay, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so we got to our destination well, uh, but it wasn't able to get exactly where the navigation pin was. So that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, let's see if it's going to kind of circle around and find a way back. I think it will. Yeah, yeah, it is, uh, it is going to try to circle around, so uh, we'll give it a shot to do that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. If it hadn't have made that wrong lane choice, and if it had been a little bit more gutsy in terms of uh, crossing that solid white line, I think we would have been okay. Uh, let's see what's going to go on here. Uh, the nav is telling it to do some really weird stuff. It's telling it to do this big old loop. So if it, if it actually tries to do that, um, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take over here. So I will call that uh, a failure and an actual disengagement because, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
it was starting to do some really weird stuff. I'm not sure exactly what I was trying to do. I was going to try to turn around, go around this big old loop. Anyway, that was no good. Bummer, man. Uh, <laughs> it had gone so well right until the, the very uh, last little minute here. <laughs> but what are you going to do? So I am driving here manually ever since that uh, disengagement, just so I can park and give you my thoughts here, because I've actually got to get going. All right, guys, so there's my test route with FSD 12.5.4.1. Um, we had one issue where I had to hit the accelerator um, as we merged onto the highway. That's a, a long-standing problem. It's just not quite aggressive enough in doing that. So hopefully that'll get fixed in 12.5.6. Uh, and then here <laughs> we had an issue um, really right at the end. Um, I, I don't want to... Uh, blame FSD too much because that was really more, I think, due to the navigation. Although it did make a bad lane decision, I think it could have still figured it out. Um, but anyway, um, so that was a disappointing ending to an otherwise uh, really quite a good trip. Um, very similar to what I experienced in 12.5.4 here with 12.5.4.1. So all around, um, you know, even though <laughs> this is, you know, how it goes when uh, you do, uh, you know, when, I, when I'm not trying to I don't know, curate the times that I film or show you guys. Like, this is just every time that I'm going to film a video, um, I, I go ahead and release it. This is what happened. So um, I'm still really happy with version 12.5.4. Um, but even though we had a couple of issues here uh, in this video and uh, more to come when we get the next version. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.